welcome to CCHL tonight here at the Pembroke Memorial Center where the Pembroke Lumber Kings are taking on the Gloucester Rangers tonight. But first, it is Peter White Knight here at the Memorial Center. He is being inducted into the Hall of Honor tonight, so it's going to be really exciting. Jamie Bramberger is going to be mastering the ceremony in a few minutes. Uh, we're going to take a look at some Peter White stat stats. If you weren't around for his Lumber King season, so he scored 90 goals and 226 points on the 87-88 season with the Lumber Kings. He played 220 games in the NHL, mostly with the Philadelphia Flyers. He was drafted 92nd overall in the 1989 NHL entry draft by the Edmonton Oilers. He played in two Centennial Cup championships with the Lumber Kings in 1987 and 1988. And Brian Downey, who was a teammate of Peter White, he scored 146 goals in two seasons with the Lumber Kings. And I'm hopefully going to chat with him later on in the game. I'm going to send it up to Josh Coleman, who is the PA tonight, and he is going to send it to Jamie. Center Rice, we have a special ceremony this evening. We will throw it down to Jamie Bramberger in just moments. Prior to O Canada this evening, the Pembroke Lumber Kings are honored to be able to salute one of the greatest players to ever put on a Pembroke Lumber Kings uniform. Tonight at the Memorial Center is Peter Knight, Peter White Knight, as the Lumber Kings look back on their illustrious history. Please direct your attention to Center Ice and join tonight's MC Jamie Bramberger, play-by-play -play voice of Kojiko Cable, and he will bring you some information on Peter. Thank you, Josh, and good evening, everyone. Tonight is indeed a very special evening as we welcome back Peter White and pay tribute to his 1987-88 season with the Lumber Kings. In that magical season, Peter averaged more than four points a game as he tallied an extraordinary 90 goals, 136 assists in only 56 regular season games. His remarkable 226-point season included 11 hat-tricks and 17 two-goal games as he shattered the league scoring record and set a benchmark that is unlikely to be broken. Following his junior career, Peter played college hockey for the Michigan State Spartans and was then drafted 92nd overall in the 1989 NHL entry draft by the Edmonton Oilers. Peter went on to play 220 NHL games with the Oilers, Toronto Maple Leafs, Philadelphia Flyers, and Chicago Blackhawks. He finished his professional hockey career in Europe. During his record-setting season with the Lumber Kings, Peter was joined by another prolific goal scorer, Brian Downey, who netted 70 goals and followed up with 76 more tallies the following season. Tonight, Brian is here to speak on behalf of Peter White's teammates. Please welcome Brian Downey. Good evening. It's great to be back in this building again in front of all you fans. Um, speaking on uh, about Peter, Peter White, they say he was a, a quiet person. But to tell you the truth, he led by example. Just like Steve Eiserman, Joe Sackick, he came to play every night. He was determined to win. If we were down by a goal, two goals, you can count on Peter to come out, make a nice pass, tie the game up, and the momentum changed, and we ended up winning. Um, our right, right winger, Jim Way, I wish he was here tonight to, to uh, be with us, but for that year to skate along Peter, along with Peter that whole year, it was, it was fantastic, and it was, it was awesome. Thanks, Peter. Thank you, Brian. It has, in fact, been a very long time since Peter White has been in this historic arena and on this ice surface. In fact, he told me a few minutes ago this is his first time back in the PMC since that record-breaking season. So please welcome back the Central Canada Hockey League single-season scoring record holder, 226 points in 56 games, Peter White. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to make this short and sweet, but there's a few people I'd like to thank. 
Uh, I'd like to thank Dale and the Pembroke Lumber Kings for having me tonight. Uh, it's a huge honor, and I don't take this lightly. I mean, this is a huge, huge thing to have a plaque up here. There's so many great players that came through here, so uh, I want to thank you guys. Uh, I'd like to thank the fans, which I never really did when I played here. Sort of, uh, once I was done, I sort of left, so I never really got to thank for all your support. And uh, the people in the Ottawa Valley, you've been really great to me when I was here, so thank you. I'd like to thank my line mates, Brian Downey, Jim Way. They're great players in their own right, and uh, I know without them, I would not be standing here today getting a plaque. So I want to thank you guys. You guys are awesome players. And lastly, I'd like to thank my Billet family, the Cochrans, Wally, and Boyd. Um, you're my Billet family, but you're like my second family. So, you know, without you, I know I would not be standing here. So uh, thank you very much. The story of Peter White's incredible 1987-88 season will now live forever as he joins the Pembroke Lumber Kings Wall of Honor located behind Section 6. The plaque is already there. And now here to present a commemorative plaque that Peter can take home to his home in New Jersey is Dale McTavish, the owner and general manager of the Pembroke Lumber Kings. Peter and his son, Peter White, Brian and Dale will now participate in the ceremonial puck drop. So if I could have both captains from the Lumber Kings and the Gloucester Rangers, please join us at center ice for a ceremonial puck drop. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, would you please